ladder logic is a simple form of discrete automation. In discrete automation, the inputs and outputs are digital I.O. They're just on or off values. Most discrete automation systems are run using what's called a programmable logic controller, referred to as PLC. And the simplest form of that is ladder logic. Ladder logic is based on relay logic. You can design an entire ladder logic system just using relays, and it gives you the capability of doing AND operations and OR operations. Ladder logic diagram looks like this. It begins with two rails, one positive voltage, the other ground. And between these two rails, you wire up relays and this forms what looks like a ladder. So a simple diagram might look like this. This would say, if this sensor is on, when this sensor turns on, turn on this output. This says when this sensor turns off, turn on this output and you can see why it's called ladder logic because you have these rungs that go across here and form what looks like a ladder. Each of the elements in ladder logic can be made up of a relay and there are three basic elements that are used. One is the normally open contact. This is the normally closed contact. And this is a output or solenoid. A word of caution about normally open and normally closed contacts. In a ladder logic diagram, normally open refers to the normal state. So when nothing is happening, the contact is broken. In this case, when nothing has happened, the contact is closed. Normally open and normally closed may not refer to the type of switch that's used. It just refers to the nominal state of the item. These elements can be related to parts of a relay. Here's a relay that has two contacts, normally closed, normally open, and a solenoid. So you put current through the solenoid coil. It changes the state of the relay. This is the normally closed contact. This is the normally open contact. And this is the solenoid. In ladder logic, normally closed contact is this. Normally open contact is this. And the solenoid refers to this. Here is a simple ladder logic diagram two rails plus volts ground. We've seen this before. Here's a system rung that says if this sensor turns on, this output turns on. If we were to wire that up with relays, we could do this. We have a relay with a normally open contact wired up to an output. There we go, plus volts, ground. So this is the diagram. This is the way we would op actually wire it up in our relay logic. This coil right here is connected to some sensor. So when the sensor turns on, it activates the coil throws the normally open relay, normally open contact. That allows current to pass through the solenoid, which activates this relay and turns this on. So this might be connected to something simple like this, a switch. And this could be connected to a light bulb. The user throws the switch, 
the light bulb turns on. This is a complicated way to make that happen, but you can see what happens in the relay logic. Throwing the switch th changes the state of the normally open contact, which allows current to flow along the path, energizing the coil. And when the coil is energized, then it turns on an output. In this case, it throws the switch to turn on the light. Back before there were computers, there were boxes that had these two rails and then slots in between them. And you would snap your relays in, connect up the logic, and then take the external connections and hook them up to your real world devices. You could connect items in series or in parallel. If you connect them in series like this, then in order for this output to be on, both this sensor and that sensor must be tripped. This says if this and this are tripped, then that is on. This gives you an AND logic. If you do them in parallel, if this sensor is on or if this sensor is on, then the output is on. And that gives you an OR. A word of caution about ladder logic, it's not sequential. So in this diagram here, it's not this happens, then this happens, then this happens. They all happen simultaneously. It represents an electric circuit. The other thing is that this is the simplest form of a programmable logic controller that you will see. Modern programmable logic controllers have many more elements other than normally open, normally closed, and outputs. They may include things as such as PWM inputs or things for having time delays.